Today's real estate is all about impact and wow. More home buyers today are looking at digital listings and social media first. If you want to create unique, interesting and detailed real estate photos, a drone is a great buy. While drone technology is still fairly new, real estate professionals have been some of the first to adopt it. But drones can range anywhere from 50 bucks to $5,000. How do you know which one is right for you? Stay tuned and I'll share with you two drones that I think are the best out there. I'm Scott Prokop with Shooting Real Estate. I am a real estate photographer, videographer, drone pilot, and I've shot over 6,000 homes over the last eight years. And I know drone technology is amazing and worth it, and you need it for today's listings. I will focus just on two drones, keep it simple. It will just depend on where your skills are. Let's start with the DJI Mini 2 drone. This is a beautiful, beautiful little drone. Very light, very easy to use, and very affordable. Love that little guy. I call it the mosquito because it's when you take off, that's what it sounds like. It's an entry level drone, very affordable at 449 US. It's foldable and ultra light at under 249 grams. And why is 249 important? Well, 250, you have to be a licensed drone pilot. It has 31 minutes of flight time. You can fly it about 6.2 miles or 10 kilometers away with its video transmission. Now this is important so when you're looking on your controller you can still see exactly where you're flying and what you're doing. It has a wind resistance of 24 kilometers an hour. Now anywhere above 30 kilometers an hour you're at risk with these little propellers and how light it is. The wind is going to be more powerful than this thing and you won't get it back. So be careful with wind as its biggest enemy. It has a 12 megapixel camera, it shoots 4K video, it has automatic takeoff and automatic return. So you just hit a button on the app, it takes off, same with the return, you just tell it return to home. Awesome. It makes it so easy to use. It has intelligent flight modes, including droney, circle, helix, rocket, and boomerang. Now why are these great? Well, the circle, you just circle around an object. It just does its thing. You don't have to pretend to know how to do that. A boomerang works great if you want to do a little video for your actual real estate listing. I recommend the Fly More Combo, mainly for its extra batteries, it has a charging hub and extra propellers. This comes in at 599 US. So for under 600 bucks for an entry level drone, I would be careful in the city if you're just starting out and you never flown a drone, start small, start on an acreage or farm, ranch, uh, that way you can see where you're going, better line of sights, and as you get better, you take it to the city. Let's go over some pros and cons. It has a small format, affordable drone that shoots 4K video. Con, it doesn't have obstacle avoidance and can't fly in windy days. This is best for someone who wants a simple entry-level drone that can do it all. If you're finding this useful so far, be sure to hit the like button and subscribe for more future videos like this. Next, I'm gonna go on to my top pick. This is my favorite drone. It came out last year in 2021. This is the DJI Air 2S, a mid to pro level drone. It has a great value of just under $1,000 US. It is foldable and light. It has 31 minutes of flight time, 12 kilometer video transmission. So from your controller, you put your phone on the controller and watch up to 12 kilometers. And when you have to be licensed for this drone, you have to have line of sight in the US or Canada. So you're not gonna be flying that far. Kilometer is quite a bit here, so. It has a wind resistance of 23 and a half miles per hour or 37.8 kilometers an hour. Again, I know in my world here, 50 kilometers an hour, you are really pushing it. And with those wind gusts, you won't be getting it back. I know I like to call it fishing almost because if you get in the high winds, as you get higher, it's windier and you're actually trying to get it back and the wind grabs it and it pulls it out just like a fish would pull the string. So it comes and goes and then you finally get it home hopefully, or you have to land it far away and go find it. This has a 20 megapixel still camera with a one inch CMOS sensor. Why is that important? A bigger sensor, more light. And if you're shooting at night, twilight, uh, city shot at night, it works amazing. Also with this camera, you can shoot up to 5.4K ultra HD video. 4K is what most of us just need for the real world. For real estate, 1080p is a lot. Most of us are just looking at these houses on our phones nowadays. We're not really looking on a big TV. Other great features, this has obstacle avoidance. So again, 
let's look at the drone. You can see little sensors everywhere. There's sensors on the front. And if you're flying at an angle against the wind, it has sensors this way, sensors on the back. So it's gonna try to avoid to get into any accidents or any problems. It also has air sense technology. So what this is, it warns of any nearby helicopters or planes or any approaching planes. So if they have the air sense technology, it is awesome. I've tested, the first time I tested it out, I saw a little plane coming. I took off, it told me X number of meters, there's a plane nearby, and sure enough, that was great. Another is when there's commercial flights coming in, it'll pre-warn you and something's coming nearby into your airspace, so be careful. Great feature, keep everybody safe. It has automatic takeoff and return to home. Again, you just hit the button, takes off. Again, when you want to come back home, just hit a button. It comes straight above you, it has GPSs built into it, and it's going to land. This one also has intelligent modes. Rocket, Circle, Droney, Helix, Boomerang, and Asteroid. Again, great features. All you do is take the drone, frame the house, and you could do the circle. Start from right or left, and it'll just go circle around. You could circle a whole building. I know I did one of our tallest new buildings in Saskatoon here. I circled the whole building, scared the heck out of me, but it worked. It went all the way around, created an amazing video. And that's the video you see in this intro every time for all my videos that I put out. Now the new thing is called Master Shots. So what's it do? Drone goes up in the air, it does a sequence of shots. Going up, doing asteroid, doing orbit, do it does all these for about two to three minutes. And then in the end, it takes that whole video, it's basically one big video that you can still use, but you have the option in the app to actually pick a template, which template out of about 15, 20 of them, they keep adding more, you pick a template, and which one looks great it puts some music and it does a sequence of shots it's a great 30 second video for showcasing your home bakerage whatever another thing in the more advanced drones like this one it has focus tracking so it can follow a subject so if you're running or following a car you could do that that's just a bonus i don't know where you need real estate but maybe you're doing a ranch there's some horses you just want to follow them and get a nice cool video that's probably a reason why to use that. Again, I highly recommend the Fly More combo, mainly for the extra batteries, a charging hub, ND filters, and extra propellers. So again, you get in trouble, you get in an accident, you need propellers, that's usually the first thing you wreck. Well, that's when you get the kit, especially for the batteries. You have 30 minutes on each battery. If you're doing multiple shoots in a day, if you're a real estate photographer, you're covered. This comes in at $12.99 US. So again, the Fly More kit is an amazing value for this drone. Let's go over some of the pros and cons. This is an advanced media machine. It's got great camera, great for video, great for photos. I love it. It has optical avoidance. Master Shots is a great addition for great for real estate. Cons, it's a little more expensive. You're basically paying twice as much than this little little guy. This is best for those who want a robust professional setup for aerial photography and videography. This is a great investment and this is my top pick. You can get other drones that are a little more expensive. They have more bells and whistles, but honestly, this is perfect. If you find this useful, hit the bell, subscribe button. I have more videos where I review product. I go over tips and tricks of real estate, photography, videography, and more. And see you in the next video. See ya.